Hello everybody, welcome back to our super mega expanded all of the expansion mods playthrough over here. So there was another update with Smappy and the day that I'm recording this, Old Mate released another update. So I'm still on the adventure of updating my good old Smappy and all my mods. But with that being said, a lot of the mods that I had installed that weren't working now do. And I also installed a couple of new mods that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I kind of like the idea of just slowly adding in a few more mods every now and then, but just keeping the basic ones, which is your bridge side, your expanded downtown Zuzu and a scarf. But there was definitely lots more. And also Daisy Nico's earthy recolor mod finally got updated. So our game looks like that now. I do also want to say a huge shout out to the members of my community for recommending me to install this mod to do because I have ADHD and I always will make plans for myself and never stick through with them or always struggle to prioritize time. I have that mod installed and it is game changing. So I'm super excited for it. But with that being said, let's head on in to our expandables farm and see what is going on. We're in day 12 of a summer. We'll probably try and aim for a good six days today. Oh, Smappy, no. <laughs> do I have to update all of my mods before Smappy works? That's the second time it's crashed on me. Nope, third time is not a charm at all. Okay, well, let me go update all my mods. <laughs> also, I just wanted to be known just how funny this is because I literally updated all of my Smappy on the 17th. So I'm recording, today is the 19th of April. 17th, two days ago. Last updated yesterday. I was a day off. Updated everything. Hopefully it all works. Okay, let's see if we can actually play this game. It would be great if it would stop crashing on me. Yay, we're here. Okay, we're here back on Expandables Farm. Uh, as always, we'll start the day off with checking out TV. What have we got? Our fortune for the day. They're in good humor today, which is really great. And then our weather report. It's going to be a storm approaching tomorrow. Thunder and lightning. So it would be great if we can get some battery packs and stuff. We've got Yuma here. Hello, Yuma. Hi, Kitsu. I'm really sorry for the sudden visit. That's okay, bestie. I was on my way to shop for groceries when Miss Lenny asked me for a favor. She asked me to tell you to visit Ridgeside on a sunny day whenever you're free. Okay, she has something important to discuss with you. Okay, that was her whole message, so I'll be leaving now. I'll see you later. You were so cute. Okay, well, this is a great time to show you guys the to-do list mod, which we added. If you do download this mod, all you need to do is just press L and then it'll open up. So we're just gonna add down, because I will forget, to visit Ridgeside on a sunny day. And then it just pops up on the corner and you can adjust everything as to how it looks. As well, I'm gonna add battery packs because I would love to get some of those done, especially if it's gonna be a rainy day but of course i'm just gonna quickly check out what our farm is up to overall we just still need some sprinklers and that's kind of it so i reckon today we'll definitely go mining and susan sent us a little message my melon's going like wildfire this year here's some extra seeds i got when i popped a number of them in my seed maker don't go don't go trying to compete with me for the melon market though i'll win slay thank you for the free seeds i love that i can make lightning rods i also just realized that i wrote battery packs when i need lightning rods anyway i can make lightning rods i just need iron bar refined quartz and bat wings but i also need iron bar refined quartz and gold for sprinklers but we do have a pretty decent amount of quartz at the moment and not a lot of gold so yeah i reckon we'll go mining for gold and try and get through and definitely some more iron would be great i don't want to make too many lightning rods i just want to make sure that we have enough because battery packs are so useful i just want to make sure that we will have enough but let me quickly commence all of our boring little chores and i will catch you guys once i've done everything as well we do have some peppers and tomatoes ready to go slay all of our crops awarded i only need to donate a uh, tomato to the community center we still need to get some more hardwood and stuff but we do have an upgraded axe so you can definitely go and get that and then i didn't get any normal quality peppers so i'm just gonna sell all of these ones and just keep those for shane uh, and i'm just gonna quickly clear my inventory and go and check on my animals and then I can show you guys one of the new worlds that I installed. I also just realized, uh, I think they updated something and expanded. The fences are different. Okay. 
That's gonna be by surprise. Okay, but before we head into the mines and actually do stuff, I do want to like make my plans known per se for what we wanna do. So looking at everything, I definitely want to get a barn up in here. I think that's gonna be a huge thing. We can also see Leah's two heart event. And I also would really like to get some more people's hearts up. Definitely a big heart event and cutscene focus. I definitely feel like I am doing, I don't wanna say the same stuff because I do enjoy like mining and getting sprinklers and everything ready but we gotta change it up a little bit so i definitely want to get some of our bachelors and bachelorettes up to two hearts and go and see some cutscenes. we're doing pretty well gift wise but definitely that's going to be a huge focus so let's add in get a barn i'm gonna say and cows too can't forget those more hearts <laughs> and then maybe just all sprinklers and then that way we know we can just um like focus on that sort of stuff for today but otherwise um i'm ready to go it is a friday so i'm not gonna forget to go and see the traveling merchant lady before i show you guys my new little farm cave thing that i've got which i honestly think is the neatest mod ever oh we've got jacob down here by marnie's that's really cool to see him here a traveling merchant lady what have you got for me um i think i need a bull head for the community center i also need a crocus for the community center and then our rare seed which again like i'm in no rush to get or i can't remember if i've got it on this save heck it will buy a rare seed just to be safe and i'll just double check i'm pretty sure i do need a bull head for my community center we do but i'm pretty sure i can catch these guys in summer so we might just save our money and we'll just go with our rare seed don't have anything else interesting that i want or the crocus but again that can wait yeah easy i don't want anything else we'll however say hello to jacob oh hi sorry can't even try tonight lost a patient so people say it was just a cat but she mattered oh jacob don't do this to me we all know the rule pet deaths in movies the worst kind of death <laughs> but anyway let me show you guys this new thing i installed so it's the same farm cave mod from the last episode but i have added in a little secret thing over here and also i don't know if it was part of the mod but i'm getting a ton more like forage wall items spawning so great for community centers great for gifting and everything but it's where that little ladder is in the corner that really matters <laughs> So down here, this does feel a little cheaty, but I am obsessed with it. You get this little area covered with different ores and minerals and stones and stuff. And so far from my playthrough that I've been playing over on Twitch, which you should come and check out, it does respawn every single day if you get rid of them all. But also the more you get rid of it, the rarer the stuff gets. So for instance, when we just went through it, we didn't get any iridium ore. But when you keep sort of removing it and stuff, you can get iridium ores from the comfort of your your own home. Uh, Susan, why are you in such a rush? Go, what's going on? Wait, why are you running so fast? Are you still gonna run that fast? Nope, she slowed down. Why was she in such a rush? We've got a couple of things that people like over here for gifts. We'll just quickly say hello to everyone. It's also, you know, pretty late in the day. Uh, so I don't think we'll get too much mining done, but hopefully like to the next five levels or so. Again, big one is gold ore, but also I still really need a fire quartz. Okay, let's head down to 85 and see what this little mining adventure brings us. Definitely want to hit 90, but it's also a good luck day. So we could go lower. Also, I mind getting combat level five but we'll see what we can do and i will be back with you guys at level 90. Well, we made it to level 90. i also don't have any space so i'm gonna quickly bin something i get rid of these salami boys and we got our obsidian edge sword and it's not too late and i also did get a farm warp totem so we might keep adventuring see if we can get to 95 would be really cool but if not we can just warp them back home well we made it to 95. I might just be cheeky and use my little warp totem to get home and pull one of those actually go to bed on time. Okay. Oh, I cannot see. Oh, and love, I have not even cleared this space out yet. I don't even think I'm going to make it home. <laughs> With a little bit of rusties and an insane amount of luck, we get to go to bed on time. So we get level six mining, which is really great. We didn't level up our combat. That's okay. But let's head in to the next day. It is raining, so it is going to be a really great mining day. But I do also want to check out what fish I can catch possibly today for the bundles and see where we're sitting on like getting other things because fishing is the one that I'm lowest on. That and combat, but we're doing a lot of combat anyway. And I still really just want to get some progress done on all of these going through all of the bundles i definitely think we can fish today there is only one fish that i can catch in summer that is rain required and that's at the ocean that's for a red snapper but there's three different ocean fish i can catch 
and there's a few mountain and river fish that I can catch today. So I think we're going to do a bit of a mix of foraging, maybe some gift giving and fishing. I want to get some of these bundles done, but I would also still like to go to the mines because I really, really want this red quartz. So we will see. And I will try and maybe get this bundle done as well today. Yeah, let's just try and do a big community center day. And as well, if we start at the ocean, we can maybe look at buying some stuff from Willy, which would be really great. But let's check our fortune quickly. They're annoyed today anyway so maybe mining's not a big thing we'll do and it's gonna be a nice sunny day tomorrow as well so tomorrow we can head to Ridgeside. let me just sit down and clear my inventory and i've got melons and wheat ready to go so it's gonna be a bit of a catch-up farming day too as well because i still only have a bamboo pole so not ideal but it is what it is i do also have some crab pots so we can go and take those with us and just get them set up and then gifting things wise i will definitely just take some sweet peas with me or actually i'm gonna harvest later just because some of these fish have have time stamps on them. To the beach. Oh, there's a lot of forageable things here as well, which is always good. And Willie likes sweet peas, so we'll give one of these to him. And then it is time. So fishing wise, we're looking for a tuna, a red snapper, which we just got, a tilapia, and then I can't catch a puffer fish today. But those are the three that we're looking for over here. If we get them, we can head straight over to the mountain and get the bullhead sturgeon and chub. And then I seem to get a bream in the river, but that's later on in the day. We got our tuna. One more to go. Before we catch it, I am, oh, we have a cutscene. Ahoy. Come in and make yourself at home. Hi, that's good stuff there. The fish go crazy for it. Just uh, make sure to wash your hands all good after dipping them in those juices. The aroma has been known to linger for up to seven weeks, miss. Yeah, I'll take that a week. <laughs> so you've been catching a lot of fish? Yeah, I would say moderately, you know. Could be doing more. Aha, a lady after me own heart. You can always count on a lady who fishes. That's what me old pappy used to say at least. Well, keep it going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I've got a special prize waiting for you. I'm very excited. I know what's behind that door. We'll go what's wrong. I well, business has been tough lately. It all started about the same time that old community center fell to ruin. Me fish just don't sell like they used to. I've been working double time just to make ends meet. No time for me own projects. But if things pick back up around here, I might have the time to show you something. <laughs> yep, she's back there. An old friend that's seen better days. Someday, miss, you'll see what I mean. Very excited for it. I'm very excited for it. Um, but I'm going to buy some bait. Bait for my crab pots as well, but we're gonna buy. I can only get a fiberglass rod. Damn it. We'll get our fiberglass rod though, and we'll buy some bait. And there's some sturgeon bait here. So I do have to catch a sturgeon today. So maybe I'll get two. I don't know. <laughs> and that will be that. Okay, back to it. Because this last fish has to be caught before 2 p.m. <laughs> We got a flounder and we did increase our fishing level, which is very exciting. That's not what I'm after. I'm after a tilapia. We got a new achievement as mother catch and caught another fish, but it's no tilapia. We finally got our tilapia. Let's go. Slay. Okay. Okay. It is now time to go to the mountain. I want to collect all this stuff, but I don't want to risk not having anything in my inventory. So let's just head straight to the river, try and catch these last few fish, and then we can just go and donate them. So we're after a bullhead sturgeon and a chub over here. We caught that bullhead. Let's go save that money on the traveling merchant. I also forgot that I actually need to go and buy seeds as well. And the only fish that has a time is a sturgeon. So I'm going to take off my bait and put on my sturgeon bait. Oh gosh. Ah! Stop moving! <laughs> I'm ready for him now, okay? I'm so ready. Never mind. I might I might just need to get my fishing level up. That's okay. We can come back. There's still time, but I just know I'm gonna forget to get crops. <laughs> If anything, that is the one thing I will absolutely forget to do. There are a few people here, a lot of people like these. So we'll just do a bit of gifting on our way. For some reason, Sebastian likes flounders. So I got one of those. You can absolutely have that if you want. 
a weird uh, gift request, if I do say so myself, but you know, it is what it is. <gasps> Sterling, my man. We'll definitely have to give him something. I'm super keen to see his next heart event, but let me get these crops. And we'll give that to our mans. Sorry, farmer, do you think we could not talk about what happened last night? Oh, it's okay. And you know, we are about five hearts with everyone. So I do have to give this to Pierre, even though I don't want to, but let's go back and try and catch this fish. We caught a chub. But let's go back home. We will harvest our crops and get all of that ready. And then we'll go to a big community center drop off and also take a ton of gifts with us so that we can go and say hi to everyone at the pub because we want to get those hearts, you know. It feels really weird spending an entire rainy day not in the mines. But I will say I do feel like I got to achieve more. This day doesn't feel like it's gone on super quickly. Okay, and we'll get our melons for our quality crops bundle. I have read somewhere that people are like, don't do that, but it's it's the first crop. I just want to get it done. We might miss out on everyone at the saloon, but I will take some stuff with me just to be safe. So we'll take all of these as gifts and see what they do. Here we go. Oh, Arby, 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 stop. God damn it. <laughs> I can't even go and say hi to Harvey. Just missed him. Let's just see what we can gift out. You know, Shane likes peppers. He's still at one heart. Keep an eye out on Sterling, all right. <gasps> this is new dialogue. Oh. Cool, so Shane knows that I'm like romancing Sterling per se. So he's telling me to look out for him. He's a good dude, but sometimes he's a massive idiot. Uh -huh. I wonder if, and I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I wonder if Shane and Sterling have like a combined heart event or if like more of their heart events um, will relate in like dialogue changeovers. That would be so cute if so. Okay, well, I feel great about all of the gifting we did. Let's go to the community center and then call it a day. It's pretty late. It's almost midnight. Okay, commence the community center drop off. Amazing, two more bundles done and a lot more dropped off. I am also, while we're here, I might actually see if I can catch this bream because that is, doesn't require rain, but it's in the river in the town here. So I might see if I can catch him. You can catch him from six o'clock. So this is pretty late, but it is what it is. It's worth a shot to see what we can try and achieve, you know? Come on, be the bream. Be the bream I know you can be. Slay! Okay, I'm... Not gonna go day nade him today because I don't want to run out of time, but we've caught the bream. So now out of my entire list that I need to catch for summer, I just need to get a sturgeon and a puffer fish, which if it's sunny, I can get either of them tomorrow. At least get in your house. Yep, that's fine. Pass out by my bed as long as I don't pass out outside. <laughs> and we hit level five fishing. So we can do fish or trapper. I am never a crab pots kind of girly. Maybe one playthrough I'll do it, but I am going to go for fisher. We want them to be worth more and sort of make fishing more worthwhile. And we got some good money and a big old harvest. So let's head on into the next day. Okay, it's a nice sunny day. So we'll go visit Ridgeside today. Traveling merchant lady is also here today. And we We've got a queen of sauce. We have to have some pancakes. And the spirits are also super happy today. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. So today might be a really big day for us. We've also got our first blueberry harvest. So I reckon what we're gonna do is of course all of our boring chores. We will go to Ridgeside. Then depending on how long that takes, we'll go and try and catch this sturgeon and even maybe this uh, puffer fish and then see if we can finish the day off in the mines. All very time dependent. I do like to sort of overload myself with ideas. We finally got our pale ale request slay okay let me go do all my boring stuff oh i also just realized that i might actually be able to finish this artisan bundle with everything in the farm cave and i can also finish my summer crops bundle and i might actually have a large egg for the animal bundle as well there's a lot happening and then i'm going to get myself and my inventory fully ready for the day because it's going to be a big one and i do have quite a lot of objectives to, to try and smash out today one of the things is i totally forgot that on my list is getting a barn so i think that's gonna be super beneficial if we can get that today, but I don't have enough wood for it. Also, I would love to go and get my backpack upgraded, but that can be done tomorrow if needed. I do have a large egg that I can donate. Go, mate. Oh, freak. 
I didn't mean to press that button. Uh, okay. Well, this is not what I had wanted to do at all. So let's just forage over here. I wanted to keep these in my inventory so that I could go here later on in the day. But no, apparently not. Anyway, I got some gifting things. Here you go, Carmen. I am just going to cut my losses a little bit and just have a little bit of a different plan. So we're just going to wait till it hits 12 and try and catch this puffer fish. So I might just fish for a little bit and then we will head to Ridgeside. We'll do a cheeky cut pass through the traveling merchant, but I think we'll have to leave the barn till tomorrow. Oh God. Oh, pff. uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that was the pufferfish. If that's so, I am not getting the pufferfish at all. Did you see that, homie? I'm ready for that. I need a full friggin' bar for that. Yeah, I'm not having any luck, so I have a feeling. God, of course, a train is passing through. Why is everything happening? But I have a feeling that that was the pufferfish. So I think that the pufferfish and sturgeon are going to have to just wait for a moment. But we do have a cutscene with Demetrius. Hello. Also, this lake looks so cute now. Hi, Kitsu. The weather is astonishing, wouldn't you say? It's a great day. Did you know this fountain is 30 years old? It's maintained and repaired by a technician from Grambleton. Are you making progress cultivating your farm? I haven't visited it since you allowed me to set up my experiment in the cave, which I'm still thankful for. What should I say? Robin constructed buildings on my farm. I'm looking into crafting sprinklers to automate watering. I've been focusing on honing my combat skills and fishing. Um, well, Robin's only constructed one building per se. So I'm going to say that I'm looking into crafting sprinklers to automate watering. That's a smart idea. Automating the process should save you time. As it is. Glad you're doing fine here in Stargy Valley. Owning a farm is a lot of work and maybe overwhelming at times. Speaking of Stardew Valley, do you know where our valley gets its name? So I've heard this cutscene before, but I'm not sure how much of you guys have heard this cutscene. So we are going to ask where does the name come from? Um, but I love that does our valley get its name from space stuff? Because Star do something? I don't know. So let's ask where does the name come from? Allow me to tell you. A thousand years ago, a huge meteor shower periodically bombarded this specific area of the Ferngill Republic. Of course, back then, the Republic didn't exist yet. The meteors were so plentiful that their trails looked like fibers stretched across the sky. The meteorites looked like tiny drops on the trails, like morning dew on a spider web. So our ancestors called these showers the silk dew of the stars. When the Ferngill Republic was first established 150 years ago, the admission union named this valley Stardew in honor of our ancestors. Have you ever wondered why your crops are always healthy or why they so easily bear high quality produce? That's because of the meteor shower. The soil in the valley is extremely fertile. It has an abundance of nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. There's also a high concentration of minerals present in the soil, including zinc, man manganese, boron, iron, sulfur, cobalt, copper, magnesium, and so on. You can grow just about anything with ease thanks to the fertile soil. It's the reason so many farmers have established their livelihood in Stardew Valley. I learned something new. Thanks. You talk way too much. No, we don't want to be nasty to Demetrius. I'm happy you know more about the valley and where you live. The combined effects of science and history have made Stardew Valley a fascinating place. Thank you for teaching us something. Oh, look at the time. I didn't mean to keep you so long. I'll let you get back to whatever errands you're running. Have a fantastic day, Kitsu. I was just going up to see a train, but let's try and catch this train. I really hope that it's not useless. <laughs> Knowing my luck, it probably will be. And then we will go to Ridgeside. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, unless I missed the train. I don't know if I missed the train. Train? If I harvest these and there's no train, I missed it. Guys, I missed the train. <laughs> well, that was not worthwhile. Another cutscene. Hi, Willy. Ahoy, Kitsu. You've been angling for some time now with that fishing experience under your belt. I recommend casting your line over at Shearwater Bridge, east of Pelican Town. You land some good whoppers there. Okay, that was a cute little little visit from Willy. I'm just gonna quickly clear out my inventory because I have no idea what to expect going to Ridgeside, but let's finally do this. Here we go. Hi, Lenny. Ah, Kitsu, glad to know you that you got Yuma's message. Now, don't go thinking about that being some form of child labor or something. <laughs> that sweet young boy was on his way to Pelican Town anyway, and I didn't want to pass up the opportunity. Didn't think that now until you considered it, so... 
Oh yes, about that important business. Yes, let's discuss it. I'm so intrigued. See that minecart over there? I was thinking of a small project for us. I mean, why the heck not? Think of it as a small challenge. Come, let's go take a closer look. Let's do it. I'm excited to get the minecarts up and running up here if I can. It'd be cool if they all connected, but I don't think they would. Now look here, this old minecart here hasn't been of use for such a long time. It was originally intended to be a quick travel method for cases of emergencies if ever the wall reached the valley. Fortunately, it didn't come to that. So it never really served its purpose and was eventually abandoned. And so I've been thinking... What are we thinking? How about I give you the honor of helping us restore this old minecart system here? Yes! Uh, don't sweat it. That's going to be so much fun. Just a second now. We're all in this together. Restoring the minecart system would allow you to easily travel around the village. Who knows? Riding around a minecart as a way to travel might even be fun. I'll handle the funding for the restoration, though we'd still need the supplies. Now that's where you'll come in. I've enlisted Robin's help and she's given me a list of the required supplies. You can drop those supplies over to that minecart box when you have them. See, it ain't all bad, right? Yeah, this sounds like fun. I'm excited to see what supplies that she needs. I knew you'd be up for the challenge. Just drop off the supplies over to that box whenever, all right? Can be done. Awesome. Okay, I do really, really want to go and see what those items are that we need because I definitely want to start this process. As you guys know, like a huge thing for me is I want to complete all of the expansion mods related quests. So what, what do we need? Does it say anything? Oh, it's here, lol. <laughs> so we need 300 wood, 10 iron bars and five gold bars. That's so easy. Okay, I don't have that much wood now but that is something that can so easily be done i don't have any gifts with me but while we're here we'll just quickly talk to everybody because that might increase some hearts but now that that's done let's head back home we have definitely missed out on the chance of getting a sturgeon but we have not missed out on the chance fully to go and try and get this fire quartz so what I'm going to do is grab some food as a little bit of energy. I don't want to get super far in the mines. I literally just want to get this fire quartz. It would just be so helpful and so convenient. I think it's just hit me as well. I don't think we actually visited the uh, traveling merchant lady today. Uh, oopsies. I know we're really close to level 100, but I genuinely don't have plans to get there today. So I'm just going to quickly see if there is a fire quartz here. And if not, we will just leave it. <laughs> with how long it takes to walk home it's not happening at this point damn no fire quartz it's okay I, you know, I didn't even want it anyway and of course uh because i'm so damn slow uh we're not making it home well this seems like a very nice sleeping spot okay well we did hit level eight farming which is always really great and we actually finally hit level five combat um so i am i kind of want to stop it up but i just don't know what to expect so i'm gonna stick with fighter someone tell me in the comments below if that was a bad idea all right we're on to day four and we're making bank. So let's see what's happening here. So living off the land, we've got a spa information, which we already know. And the spirits are somewhat annoyed, which is never the vibe. And it's gonna rain all day tomorrow, thankfully. So we do have some more crops ready to harvest. Our first corn, I believe. So hopefully we can get some quality ones for that quality crops bundle. And as well, because I haven't done this, let's mark off some of this stuff. So we did visit Ridgeside on a sunny day. We do technically have some battery packs and it was just mainly to get that sort of process started. So we have some lightning rods. We have technically gone more hearts but i do want to get more more hearts and i'm gonna put sturgeon on here puffer fish i don't know difficulty wise the puffer fish is just ever so slightly harder to get so maybe we'll just do both <laughs> And then we'll go farm decorating. I'm, I think I'm going to feel successful if we get more hearts, if we get two hearts with maybe two more characters. So let's try and get those with like Shane and Maru or Alex, even Elliot. Like there's definitely a few characters we can get those two hearts with. And I would love to see their cutscenes today as well. Maybe get some more hearts for Sterling. He's just a handsome fella, you know, we really love him. And then tomorrow we will spend the whole day mining. Oh, actually as well, we can go and cut down some trees. Okay. I'm going to stop mumbling. I'm going to go do all of my boring chores and I will see you guys very shortly. Okay, well, I've done all of my watering my crops. Big thing 
I really want to do, of course, is um, community center bundle runs. And I want to try and keep finishing all of this stuff. So a barn is necessary. I really want to get a barn down by the end of today. I think I just need 350 wood to be able to go and get it. So let's see if we can do that. <laughs> I'm almost out of energy, so I'm just going to quickly go and recuperate said energy and actually pet my animals today. Oh, okay. This is a bit interesting. Okay, let's <laughs> go get these trees and stuff done. Because, yeah, we're very close to being able to get the barn. I just need, like, 40 more wood. So I reckon if we go see Robin, then we go to Pierre's for the backpack upgrade, then we can come back to our farm, and I reckon we'll sort of spend the day organizing it and decorating it. Because this place needs a bit of TLC. I've been spending too much time doing everything else but this. <laughs> and, of course, we will do another big community center drop-off and continue our wood hunting grind so we can get this little challenge done in the Ridgeside Village. Okay, construct farm buildings on Expandables Farm. We want a barn. And this works out perfectly because by the time the barn's finished, Marnie will be open. But I have planted some damn stuff there. So finding a spot is going to be difficult. I really just don't know what I where I want to place it spot-wise, if that makes sense. Because I thought I'd want it here, but I think I might just do this big open space instead. So I think for now, I'm going to place it here, but I will definitely be moving some things around later on just to get a process going and all. So she's got that. Actually, you like mayo. I can give you the mayo if you want. There we go. There's a little gift. Let's go get this backpack upgrade and then back to the farm. I need to be faster. I got to get on this coffee maker grind because I am so slow as well Mommy likes mayo so you can have some of this <gasps> is it his birthday it is oh my god we upgraded two hearts with him <gasps> four heart sterling event girl boss slay okay where are you sterling what's your four heart event so there's actually oh there's a three heart event too that i didn't do okay and then there's also a four heart event which is in town but the only requirement is that i have to have seen his two heart event which means i might miss his three heart event which i don't want to so tomorrow is sterling day so tomorrow we just have to be at marnie's ranch between 9 and 12 and then for the four heart event we just have to be in the town after 8 p.m and it's got to be sunny oh so i can't even do that part tomorrow anyway oh gosh okay oh gosh this is stressful okay let's just go back home i can jump oh, i'm a bit worried about jumping into the town because <laughs> i don't want to miss the three heart event this is stressful. Okay, uh, no community center things then. It's not happening. <laughs> So let's just play cleanup farm. Okay, so we've got animal bundle. We've got our artisan goods. I've got fully finished. I've got all of these in our little chest and we finish our summer crops bundle and quality crops as well. So we'll get three bundles finished tomorrow and then it's just getting these animal bundles and the fall crops bundle, which if we play our cards right and get everything upgraded by the end of this season, we can get the greenhouse before winter, which I've never actually completed before. That's gonna be really cool if we do get to do that. And then yeah, it's just those two fish that I need to catch and this damn fire quartz. Okay, let's just uh, clear this all out. Also canvas jacket. Not the vibe. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep clearing this all out. We will clear out the rest of our farm cave. I also would like to do... I didn't get seeds for this. That's okay. I also would really like to do the little mining bit at the bottom there. So we'll definitely focus on that. And wood. Why is wood such a scarce resource at the moment for me? I've already filled my inventory. God damn it. Okay, well, I'm almost out of energy. I have cleared this out and the foraging bit upstairs. Today feels like a bit of a weird day. I don't really feel like I accomplished much, but also I did. It is going to be a rainy day tomorrow, so we will start the day off with seeing our man's little heart event. Why do I have eight diamonds? Wait, I thought I had a diamond in here too. No, I don't. I do. I was keeping the diamond for the crystallarium. Oh, I have so many diamonds. Well, at least we know we're going to make bank off of something. We hit level seven mining and we've got two more days for this episode we made a lot of money <laughs> which is great i you know i can't complain it's raining so let's check our fortune they're displeased today i don't care i'm still doing it and it's gonna be a beautiful sunny day again tomorrow oh we've got a new letter 
Okay, hey Kitsu, sorry if this is rather random. I've been seeing Mia write letters with the kids and I thought it might be fun trying it out. So here we are. I keep having to erase every two words because it feels like my handwriting is so terrible. So please forgive me. I hope you're doing well at the farm. Be sure to talk to me whenever you go to Pierre's as you're always a highlight of my day. As thank you, I wanted to write you a recipe for this fruit parfait I used to make when I was younger. No cranberry sauce. Be sure to think of me while you enjoy it. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Sterling. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. Um, anyway, I'm gonna keep my tomatoes because people really like them. I'm so emotional from that little message. Okay, let me check on my animals. I will also, while we have some time, do a quick community center drop off and then we just need to head to Marnie's. Okay, the only thing I'm gonna leave is those apples because we'll use those for the fodder bundle, which I just need one more apple for. And yeah, I'm marking that off. I We've got a barn technically, we've got more hearts. Let's quickly, before we go do this drop off, all sprinklers is another thing on my list, so I need 15 sprinklers so i do have enough not right now obviously to make them but i will have enough to make those it's just getting that gold ready to go so while i can't make them all today i will actually make six quickly and that way we've started to make progress on it we'll just place these and then we'll go to the community center okay we're getting there you know what the drill is let's commence this goddamn community center drop off compilation Awesome. So we did get a free sprinkler, which I will absolutely take. So that makes my little mission of getting sprinklers a lot easier. And now I only need eight more. So before we go to Marnie's, I'm just going to throw some gold in there because that takes a lot longer. Might just pop these here. I don't have anything to put in them just yet, but it's the thought, you know. And then food. Do I have food? Okay, slay. Let's do it. Give me a sterling cutscene. Oh, it's Sterling and Shane. Oh, I need a moment. Shane was like my first ever character I romanced in this game. I love his story. Oh, I just know this is gonna hit different. Oh, okay, Shane, Gah. Hey, Shane. What do Russians get when mixing holy water with vodka? What? The Holy Spirit. <laughs> Snort. Oh. I'm not inviting her over anymore, loser. You can't live without me. Shut the fuck up. You're only good for passing the beer. Hand one over. Can't. Too drunk, sorry. I'm going to call Mia over to kick your ass. You can't. She thinks I'm at Gunther's organizing the library or some crap. God, I'm way too effed over. I don't know how I'm supposed to work tomorrow. Welcome to the club. This is how real men actually work. You get up, take a hit, and work the same 9 to 5 job hung over out of your mind until the day your miserable life is over. Not too different from the city, really. No, not really. Aww. But, you know, for what it's worth, I'm happy you're here. It's not every day I meet someone who gets me. You mean someone who'll give you a run for your money, drinking yourself into an early grave? You know what? I'm not being nice to you again. For the record, I'm happy to have met you too. Thought I'd be leaving my friends from the city forever. But with you here, it's like you carry a piece of them with you. It's comforting. You know what? We're toasting to that. Aye, right, whatever you say, here's to a new beer. And a few more to come. Aww. 
Feeling discomforted, you figure whatever business brought you here can be left for later. Best not to overhear further. Oh, that's so sad. Hello. Wait, it's a Tuesday. You're here. That was such a sad heart event. Um, I do really love that the two of them have each other per se. I think that that's really sweet, but it's so sad. <laughs> yeah, Shane's like story was so sad to me and I just, I really love him and stuff. It's been a while since I've seen this event, so I definitely need a bit of a refresher, but I, he's just a really cool character. So it's really cool that there's stories like intertwine and as I said earlier I love the dialogue from Shane as well sort of saying like I'm glad that you're taking care of him and everything so I'm keen to see their story as friends cross over a little bit more tomorrow we can see Sterling's four heart cutscene and tomorrow we can also see Leah's two heart cutscene I don't know if I really want to hit the bottom of the mines just yet we'll definitely hit 100 and get that little star drop but you know the drill it's only 95 so I'm going to see you guys at level 100 but we'll take that little star drop together <gasps> i see a fire quartz guys it's happening i've also already got three ladders on this level um but fire quartz we finally got our first fire quartz i thought maybe i'd had one and i donated it to gunther but you can see i haven't donated it to gunther i can't believe that what is a hundred levels until our first fire quartz that is insane and that's it our first ever star drop i feel very successful you found a star drop your mind is filled with the thoughts of parmigiana slay oh my gosh okay we're leaving we're gonna stop by the community center we're gonna donate this damn fire quartz and our mine carts are gonna be ready to go by the next day that is so exciting ba -ba -da -da! mine cart repair so slay five omni geodes <laughs> honestly that is the best thing that we could have done Yay! Okay, let's head back home. Hopefully we can change over our gold bars and get some more smelting. That is so exciting. That is the one bundle I really wanted to complete today. If anything, the minecarts one is so helpful. Okay, let's quickly change over our gold ore and head to sleep. That is just so funny to me how long it took for me to get a fire quartz. Unless I'd gotten one before and I'd accidentally sold it, but it took so long to get just one. Okay, so yes, yeah, so it wasn't really a money-making day, but that's okay. We're on to our last day for this video. So I definitely think that we can actually finish everything on our to-do list. We can get all our sprinklers, our sturgeon, and puffer fish, I feel like is so plausible to do. We have just been given baked fish, and the spirits are very happy today, and it's going to be another beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Our spangle flowers and also our wheat is ready so let's go do all of our boring farming things sort out my inventory as well and we can make six more sprinklers which means i only need two more oh easy we're gonna get that done today so yes as i said i'm gonna do all of my boring farming stuff and then i will catch you guys when it's done okay and then of course other things that we can do today is leah's too hard event so she leaves at 12 so i'm just gonna quickly get my inventory ready for the day but we'll go visit leah then we will go to get this sturgeon and then maybe have to dip to try and get this puffer fish because that's like a two hour time frame I've got and then I would love to go and see Clint as well and go donate some things not that we have much to donate but it's the thought that counts and then I just want to go get some more crops from Piers so let's start this day off but yeah we'll finish off the day with some decorating before heading into Sterling's for heart event Oh, hi, Kitsu. Come in, come in. I'm just working on this sculpture here. I like it. Very beautiful. Come here, watch this. Slay Queen. See that? I'm revealing the essence of the wood. Once you get past the outer layers, the true nature starts to show. I, I love the creepy may I have a kiss. I always go it's the same with people. I wonder if that makes a difference of what I respond with. Obviously the not creepy one, but. Oh, okay, so no option that I choose except for may I have a kiss is gonna affect my friendship. So I'm just gonna go it's the same with people. What? Oh yeah, that's absolutely right. I first visited this valley as a little girl while on vacation with my parents. 
I knew I had to come back someday. This place has great artistic potential. Although I have to admit, it's not easy to pay the bills as an artist. Why don't you have an art show in town? Why don't you sell your art show on the internet? I really, really like the art show in town. Um, I think it's just such a fun, and it's an interactive one as well. So yeah, interesting. I guess that could set the wheels in motion to make Pelican Town a true art destination. But what if no one likes my sculptures? I'd be crushed. I'll have to think about it. I'll buy all of your sculptures, girl. You can see how much money I got. I'll buy them all. Well, thanks for stopping by, Kitsu. Anytime. Anytime. Okay, cute. So let's go. Just trying to like juggle the time and everything. So I reckon we'll quickly stop at Pierre's. Interesting thing to find in a trash can. And we will get all of our seeds and stuff. Close on Wednesdays. Never mind. I forgot. So we will go to Joja and then we'll go get our geodes and everything opened. I also kind of wanted to get my hoe fixed, but I don't have any copper bars on me. That's okay. It wasn't super on the list. It can be done next episode. So we need to get our 16 wheat seeds get our eight spangle seeds oh there's no other flowers i can't get poppies from here so i reckon we'll just do 16 as well let's do the great geode crush and hopefully we can get some goodies i would laugh so hard if there's a fire quartz in here Okay, we got a couple of really nice pretty things. So let's go and see what I can donate and then try and catch this damn puffer fish. Oh my gosh, there are so many people here. All right. Okay, we've actually got a lot that we can donate. We got our first new reward, second new reward, three rewards and a new achievement. Let's see what rewards I've got. Rare crow, pumpkin seeds, and this stuff. I don't care about that thing. <laughs> I just leave the mans to hold on to it because I just don't care. <laughs> okay, I'm on the hunt for a damn puffer fish. I think this is the puffer fish here, but he just keeps moving too much. Stop moving. Oh gosh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Damn it. We just missed out on the puffer fish just by the nick of time. And then uh, let's head on over to try and catch this sturgeon at least. I've only got a few hours to try and catch it either. I've got until 7 p.m. So don't know how well this is going to go, but it's the thought that counts. It honestly might be the only thing we just don't get completed today. Oh, we got a Nautilus fossil slay. Oh, oh, damn it. That was definitely a sturgeon. He just kept moving too fast. I'm just feeling like surely we can at least catch a sturgeon, but maybe it's just my fishing level is too low and I need to try this again when I'm level 10. I'm really just not having luck with this sturgeon. Okay, we can do everything else, but yeah, I just think that we're not going to get these two today and that's okay. But we can get all our sprinklers and we can do a little bit of farm decorating. So let's go and do that and plant our new crops that we've gotten. And then I just need to make one more iron and two more quartz to get all of these sprinklers. So let's place them in and I'm going to do a little bit of farm cleanup slash we're just going to do a bit of planting and everything. And we can now also officially go and see Sterling's cutscene. So let's get, yeah, this stuff planted here and let's just go and see his cutscene event okay i'm a little scared oh it's a town was i too early am i not in the right part of town map town like east carp town or just town uh let's head to east carp then it could be east carp town no hello it just said between 8 and 12. Was I too early? Am I too late? Okay, well, uh, apparently we won't see his hard event, so let's just go. Jesse's clearing. Oh, this is where Jesse is. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, we're right up in the corner there. Okay, let's just go back to my farm. And then let's just kind of keep working on our farm. I just want to clear this up. It's pretty dark, so we're not going to get too much decoration-wise done. And I also am still a little uncertain as to what I want to do super decoration-wise. But first of all, let's uh, quickly do this. Do you know how slay that is? We've got all sprinklers done. Yeah, I just don't really have the energy to do much more. So let's leave it at that. It's been a really long episode. We've gotten so much done. But let's go to sleep. All ready to go for the next episode. We did get a lot of money from fishing, which is really great. That sort of means that it's starting to 
pay off money wise. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I feel like we got a lot done today. <laughs> Definitely still on my list is of course getting those last two fish. So expect a lot of fishing in the next episode as well as some farm decorating. Of course, our little spoilers. We've got blueberries ready and we've also got some peppers ready. But let's start our sort of to-do list for the next episode. I would love to look into getting a house upgrade. I would also think it is beneficial to get a coop upgrade and maybe a barn upgrade. <laughs> we'll see in five, six days sort of thing. It's probably not possible, but if we can just get those upgrades ready to go or at least partially done, then that is just going to be so helpful and so beneficial. I also really think I should send in my hoe for an upgrade. Just upgrade everything is pretty much what the next episode is going to be. We can put on that bottom of the mines, I reckon. And then I want to say two times two heart events. I want to see two more heart events next episode, but just like the starting, the two, any two of our two heart heart events. But that is going to be our little to-do list for the next episode. As always, besties, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. On that note, I will catch all of you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.